Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Microsoft Planner and Gyro, two popular project management tools designed for very different kinds of teams. I will break down their features, user experience, pricing, integrations, and more. By the end of this video, you will have a very clear idea of which one fits your workflow better. So without further delay, let's jump right in. First off, let's talk about what each platform is designed to do. Microsoft Planner is a part of the Microsoft 365 family. It is a simple tool that helps teams organize their tasks visually. It's great for groups already using things like Teams, Outlook, or SharePoint. However, on the other hand, Jira by Atlassian is made for software development. It's a powerful tool that supports agile workflows, tracking bugs, and helping with sprint planning. If your team works with scrum boards or Kanban workflows, Jira is really built to handle that level of detail and precision. Now features, Microsoft Planner is simple and easy to use. You get boards, task cards with labels, checklists, due dates, and attachments. The drag and drop interface feels a lot like Trello. It also works well with Microsoft Teams so that you can chat, schedule tasks, and manage everything in one place. But it's a bit basic. There's no proper timeline view, advanced automation, or detailed reporting unless you add tools like Power Automate or Power BI. On the other hand, Jira offers a lot more right from the start. It has customizable workflows, issue tracking, backlog management, sprint planning, and detailed reports like burn down charts and velocity tracking. Plus, it supports advanced permissions, automations, and works smoothly with tools like Bitbucket, GitHub, and Slack. Next, let's talk about the user experience. Microsoft Planner is very easy to use. You can open it and get your board ready in no time, even without a tutorial. How fantastic is that? The design is simple and clean, which makes it perfect for teams that aren't very technical. On the other hand, Jira takes it a bit more to get figured out. Now, setting up projects and getting workflows in place can take a while. The interface isn't the easiest to use, but once everything is set up, it is a very powerful tool for managing teams that work across different areas. In terms of integrations, Microsoft Planner works really well with other tools in the 365 suite. It connects easily with Outlook, Teams, and SharePoint, but it doesn't have as many options for connecting with outside apps like Jira does. However, Jira is a lot more flexible. It works with over 3,000 apps from the Atlassian Marketplace. These include tools for DevOps, time tracking, documentation, and analytics. If your team uses a mix of tools for engineering, product, and support, Jira is a better choice here. Now let's quickly cover pricing. Microsoft Planner is included in Microsoft 365 at no additional cost. For expanded project management capabilities, you'll need to upgrade to Planner Plan 1 at $10 per user per month, Plan 3 at $30, or Plan 5 at $55. Jira offers a free plan for up to 10 users. Standard at $7.53 per user per month, premium at $13.53, and Enterprise comes with custom pricing through contacting sales. So which one should you choose? Well, if your team already uses Microsoft 365 and wants a simple way to manage tasks, Microsoft Planner is a really good option. It's easy to use and it works well for non-technical teams or really anyone who just needs basic project tracking within Microsoft's tools. But if your team needs more advanced features like project tracking and customized workflows, Jira is the better choice. It's great for agile development and it works especially well for growing product teams. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.